Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about healthier choices management, thinking about HCMC. In this video, we're gonna cover the sort of response we should expect next week. As you guys know, the final deadline for the response is next week, the 3rd of September. So we're gonna talk about what sort of response to expect, how that will cause the price to move, and then we're also gonna talk about the technical levels. We have some big things going on because pretty much what they have set, um, to say next week is the final thing to say. So. If you guys found this video useful or liked it, be sure to click that like button down below. It costs you guys nothing, but it helps get this video out spread out to the whole community so we all get stronger and stronger. And if you guys want to watch more, be sure to click that subscribe button. Other than that, let's get straight into the video. So we're looking at HCMC today. Our HCMC closed at 0 0.0007. So we actually went down 6.67%. However, these minor percentage changes doesn't actually equal to anything because we have a huge catalyst coming up next week and it could potentially be the end of this whole lawsuit case and we're going to talk about it all in this video. So these are the points I'm going to cover today. There are going to be some more. Um, these are the points we talked about for the PM's response, for the HCMC response. And so if you guys want to get a more detailed view, if this is your first time watching these videos, uh, go on my channels and go back some videos and you guys can see that. But we're just going to cover about what we should be expecting next week. So what is going to happen to next week? September the 3rd, we have HCMC's final reply. So that's they're going to give their reply to the PM response. And that will be the final thing to say about this whole thing before it is then up to the court, is up to the judges to decide what's going on. And so this is big because that means they have the final word. You know, they pretty much say what's end. PM then won't be able to say anything. And, you know, judging by how dull PM's response was this time, you know, this could be good for us. But we're gonna get more into it. Um, we'll talk about the technical levels later on, but let's talk about what sort of responses to expect first. So the sort of response to expect firstly, you know, it's gonna be about what PM has said. So one of the things PM has said is that um, that HMC can't change their definition of combustion. As you guys know, the first motion that HMC submitted, they used the definition of combustion from the FDA report that PM submitted, and so. Um, they failed because of that and this time they changed their definition of combustion however PM argued back saying that that was not allowed and so right now we're going to have to see about how HCMC is obviously going to um, argue back to that it's you know very easy pretty much the, the court has told them to change the meaning of combustion and so there is not much ground that's why you know everyone was very optimistic that that's why everyone said PM's response was bad and that's why I personally thought PM's response was very dull because you know what they said didn't actually have any strong argument and so you know we're going to see about hmc obviously talk about the definition of combustion again because at the end of the day that is what this whole lawsuit is on and so there is nothing to worry about that and you know they're also going to talk about other things hopefully they're going to get more experience uh, experiments out they're going to get more kind of results out pretty much anything that can back them up in this law case will you know be beneficial for them and like i said because you know what they have is the final word so this is the final say after this is to the court you know if they give something very strong pm can't even argue back even if they wanted to um unless obviously something comes up but so far it's looking like this is the final response and then it's just gonna be up to the court maybe they, they have questions but no i doubt it but you know we can never be too sure of a thing and so you know what would this do to the price so we can obviously see that ever since the whole lawsuit ever since the owner that argued back there has been very um store and still volume we haven't seen any big volumes recently um not that, that much buying some sort of selling but really the sellings aren't too big if we actually look at the overall volume and so what should we expect well like i said guys you know this final reply is big the reason for that is because again you know i'm really emphasizing the fact that this is the final thing to say because if they give an extremely strong reply um this week then we're obviously gonna have a very um strong argument and the court will obviously then be more lenient towards HTMC like we know pretty much how this is going to go now because both sides have given different definitions it's whoever can present their um, their side better and so if HTMC now gets more time to reply to this you know hopefully they can obviously make it so that their side is what represent this whole case better and that is important for HCMC and so we could be seeing more buyers coming in next week but you know definitely watch out for the end of next week so september the 3rd which is the friday um you know i'm high, extremely positive that hcmc is going to give their response after the market end i doubt they're going to give it during the market hours 
Um, but you know, I'm pretty sure some people are going to start coming into HTMC. Some people are going to start buying into HTMC because that will pr pretty much be the final um, catalyst for HTMC. After that, it's all up to the judges. One thing I do want to note before we go further on is that there is no deadline um, for the court. So there's obviously a deadline for HTMC's reply. Like I said, it's September the 3rd. However, when it's given to the court, they don't have a deadline. And so we could be expecting half a year to a year or maybe even longer, maybe even shorter. We have no idea. One thing to obviously take into consideration is the fact that COVID-19 is still going on. A lot of places have been slowed down because of COVID-19. So we do have to take that into consideration. However, this again is another reason why I think there's going to be more bias coming into HCMC because, you know, now that everyone understands that the law case is getting nearer and nearer, there'll be more people who's waiting on the sideline. Like I've said, you know, everyone understands there's a waiting game, everyone's waiting on the sideline. But, you know, um, now that they see that it's getting closer and closer, it's nearing towards the end, we're going to see a lot of bias gradually coming in. But then, you know, depending on their response, if it's very strong, then the people who have been waiting on this side all this time will really jump on because they don't want to miss kind of the final train for HCMC. Uh, you know, some of the technical levels we should look out for and then we can talk about kind of what we should look for in terms of the overall price action. So the technical levels um, during the week because pretty much the fundamental catalyst comes on to the Friday and so the bigger change will be on Friday. However, something that you should be expecting for HCMC during the week is, you know, some of the obvious technical levels. Firstly, 0 0.0009. This has been a, quite a strong um, level for resistance and or support pretty much for the last uh, few weeks. And so that is something you do, do want to watch out for. And we can see that the 50 MA has gradually got closer towards the 0 0.0009. And so that makes that level even stronger. And so, you know, if we see HTMC obviously go towards that 0 0.0009 and we see some selling, that is not because there's some inside news about the lawsuit going to fail, but rather it is, you know, just people kind of selling off at the technical levels. However, I do want to say I am not a financial advisor, so please do take my opinions with a grain of salt. Make sure to do your own due diligence and research before you get into any stocks. You know, this, it, these are the things you want to be looking out for. And so, you know, overall, some, some of the stuff we should expect. Firstly, again, you know, pretty much to summarize this whole video is that people are going to be buying up because they see that it's getting nearer and nearer and it's getting closer and closer. For those of you who have been, you know, with us since pretty much, um, we could say January, we could say February, you know, we are now kind of getting towards now that, that end goal, that lawsuit. We're going to talk about what will happen after the lawsuit. I do, I do want to make a video on that and kind of explaining more and more about what we should expect after the lawsuit if we were to win the lawsuit, because that would be quite big for us. Um, but, you know, pretty much right now, this has been, and this has been a good journey, but, you know, this Friday, if there's nothing coming up, you know, this is a lot to kind of bet on, you know, the whole gamble, I guess you could say, is on the Friday. Now, I know a lot of people are very excited because, you know, pretty much what PM has said in their response is very weak. And so, you know, a lot of people understand that it's quite, um, it's going to be a very strong reply from HTMZ because PM didn't really say much. And so it's very easy for HCMC to say things that will become very strong. You know, hopefully that is the case. But like I said, at the end of the day, it comes down to the presentation, to the court, to the judges, because they are not, you know, scientific experts. They are just judges who are obviously professional in the law industry. And you're going to have to treat them as, you know, just primary school kids, as high school kids who don't know, who knows the minimum basic of science and whichever one can convince them, you know, they will go towards that side. But you know, this is going to be big. This is going to be kind of the whole thing we are waiting for. You know, drop a comment down below, guys, what you guys think about this whole lawsuit. You know, I personally feel like there's going to be quite good things and quite big things coming out of this. However, do you understand that, you know, this is not a guarantee that they will win the lawsuit. We are still, you know, unsure of what is going to happen at the end of the day. A lot of things could happen. And so please do watch out for that. But, you know, if we look at it right now, I feel like, the positives do outweigh the negatives. You know, we have been looking at a very strong overall um, suit of responses from HMC, and you know, hopefully they remain that. Hopefully this Friday they will just show us, you know, who really is and what is going on. In terms of what we should be expecting to hear from HMC, and you know, again, like I said, everything that PM has said, they're going to argue back on that. 
and they're gonna add in some extra. I personally can't think of any extras. So if you guys can comment down below, but you know, that's all I have to say about XMT. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to click that like and subscribe button down below. Comment down below what you guys think about HMC and comment down below what you guys want to see next. On that, enjoy your day.